let us look at uh, this equation which is y is equal to minus 2 sine x over 3 plus pi. So this is a general formula of any sine graph where y is equal to a sine bx plus c plus d. Now this plus is only a sign so this d can be plus or minus in the same way c and a can be plus or minus. Now b okay uh, let's start from a. a tells you the coefficient of sine or cosine will tell you the amplitude okay and yeah if you look at negative sine it is the opposite of sine graph okay the sine if you have seen my previous video sine from baseline i'll explain that so here negative is only telling you uh, how it will start okay so i'll come to that later so let us not focus on the negative two tells me the amplitude in this case is two okay so it will go two up and two down from the baseline the period here is 360 divided by b okay so here b is a coefficient of x so the coefficient of x so let me show the working here so period is 360 I'll, I'm working in degrees so I'll say 360 divided by what's the coefficient of X here the coefficient of X is one third so that is 160 sorry 360 divided by one third which is same as dividing by one third is same as multiplying by three so 360 time, times three which is 1080 so let me show you on the calculator you can do like this 360 divided by 1 divided by 3 that's 1080 so your period is 1080 okay so that's very important and this number phi tells me that the baseline is phi okay so for the sine graph for the basic sine graph the baseline is 0 let me draw a basic sine graph so basic sine graph would look like this so I'm talking about y is equal to sine x so we know this is 0 uh, you got the amplitude of 1 this is plus 1 and this is minus 1 so I can say this is 1 this is negative 1, so this is 90, 180, 270, 360. So sine starts at the baseline, which is the maximum. This is minimum, baseline, sorry, sorry, baseline, minimum, and again baseline. So your graph, sine graph, your basic sine graph would look like this. This is your basic sine graph. Okay, so this is your maximum so this is the equation or the graph of y is equal to sine of x okay now here the baseline this is your baseline this is your maximum and this is your minimum so for a basic sine graph your baseline is zero whereas here it is plus five so your baseline is five so maximum you can make up the formula maximum is baseline plus amplitude okay so let me write it so can we say that uh, maximum is baseline plus amplitude and minimum is baseline minus amplitude you can make up these formulas by logic okay? you don't need to remove any of this so yeah if you know the baseline and if you know the amplitude, the amplitude is 2, what will be your maximum? Okay, so here, so let me scroll up. Okay, so here, can I say my amplitude is, amplitude is 2 and my baseline is 5. So can I say my maximum 
use the same principle maximum is baseline plus amplitude so baseline plus amplitude which is 5 plus 2 which is 7 and your minimum <coughs> would be baseline minus amplitude which is 5 minus 2 which is 3 just like that and your period is 1080 okay so let me delete this I'm going to draw the same graph on this. I don't want to make the page smaller. Okay, because of one upload that I did, update, I can't scroll up the screen for some reason. So I don't know how to do it. Okay, so yeah, if I want to draw this, okay, now this minus, what does this minus mean? Let me draw the period of 1080. So you have four steps. So I call these four steps. So this is one two three and four so this is 1000 this is 1080 so what is half of 1080 half of 1000 is 500 so this is 540 and half of 540 is 250 plus 20 which is 270 okay so then this is a step of 270 so 270 540 and 270 plus 540 is 810 if I'm not wrong okay we'll check that later okay <clears throat> so it's better to check so 270 plus 270 is 540 plus 270 is 810 that's fine okay so yeah this is your baseline okay now this is your maximum so the max uh, I have to change yeah the baseline, I'll change the baseline. I'll have to select this and let me copy and paste this much. Okay, let me cut this. Cut and say paste it here. Okay, I will delete this. Okay. I'll make this bigger. I am learning as I'm going. Okay, I'm learning this this program. So here the baseline. So your axis. Where is my axis? I'll draw an axis here. Okay. So this is uh, the baseline is five. Okay, I could have done. Uh, right, I don't know why I moved this. This could be saved. So this is your, you can see this is your, your baseline. So this is your baseline. Yeah, there's nothing wrong here. So this is maximum. This is my minimum. Okay, so you can treat this as the baseline. Okay, so if you want to draw an axis, this is your x-axis. Okay, so let me label this. This is your y-axis. This is your x-axis. So this is far, so this is zero. Okay, if it wants to make sense. So this is 0. Your minimum is 3. This is your baseline which is 5. And your maximum is 7. So it doesn't make sense now. Okay, so this is. So to make it tidier, I'll bring this in. Okay, I think now it does make sense now. Okay, so this is your baseline. Now the only difference is, because it is minus sign, instead of going up it will come down so let me draw the four points four steps one two three and four okay i can do this better i'm trying to trying to do as neat as possible so this is a this is first step this is the second step third step and this is fourth step so this is 1080 half of 1080 we saw is 540 half of 540 is 270 so now you've got a step of 270 540 810 okay now changing cal color may take violet so this is your zero now instead of going sign graph a positive sign graph will always from baseline will go up 
and it's as a negative sign graph from baseline will go down that's it that's the only difference okay then of course it will go hit the baseline reach the maximum and then the baseline so this is your graph of minus we'll check this on the calculator okay that's the, that's the most exciting part but you should know how to graph it without the calculator calculator you should not be enslaved by a calculator because if you don't know how to draw this you can also know how to do you can't even know how to graph it on a calculator now get your calculator out so menu uh, you have to go to graph and it's always good to check your whether it's in degrees or regions so it's in degrees so there's no problem so what's the equation the equation is minus 2 so I'll delete this delete so I'll say minus 2 sine bracket x divided by 3 plus 5 okay now you should use your logic you want to scale from you need to change your scales here yeah? so shift v window I want to scale from 0 to 1080 so 0 to 1080 and a step or a scale of 270 degrees okay dot don't worry about the dot I want to go from 0 to 10 because your baseline is 5 and the maximum is 7 so I'll go from 0 to 10 scale of 2 would do okay and now draw it here we go so can you see this is starts at 5 so you can check it your minimum would come I could have written these values on the x-axis okay so it doesn't matter so if you want to it's better you write these 270 uh, degrees here instead of here okay so at 270 you get the minimum so you go G solve and minimum at 270 the minimum of 3 maximum is at 810 so G solve maximum so at 810 you get the maximum and if you want to check uh, at 0 G solve intersect you want to find y calc and you say when what is x what is y when x is equal to 0 it's 5 you can also check what is y when x is 1080 so g solve y calc when x is 1080 the answer is fine so our graph is perfect i'll do the next graph in the next uh, video see you in the next video